Hello lovely people, welcome to Miss V Reality Talk Show, a show that focuses on issues affecting young people. Our main purpose is to empower and educate people, young people through interaction and motivation. My name is Evidence Bero, aka Miss V, and I'm going to be your host today. Welcome to this yet another exciting program on Rising Stars at Blessed Media with your host Father Two Keys and today we are again in the studio where we are exploring the talents of uh, the various individuals that we get to talk to about what they do and where they are coming from and where they will be going in terms of what they do. And today in the studio, we have uh, a young and beautiful lady who is a talk show host. Uh, she's an event planner. She's also a food and technology design specialist. And also she's... Uh, a leader and a founder of a women's organization called Vala Women's Organization. Those are too many things on one person that actually, I should say, that is multi-talented person. And we have Miss V. Miss V, welcome. Hi, Father. Two years. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. I am doing fine. Miss V, tell us, who is Miss V? Because everybody now wants to know the talk show host, the event planner, the food technology and design specialist, and the founder of uh, Vala Women's Organization. Who is Miss V? Okay, um, Miss V uh, is, uh, her real name is uh, Evidence Bearer. Um, I'm a young lady <laughs> of her early 20s. I grew up, I uh, born and bred in Bindera. That's where I grew up, and then I later moved on to in Narahi and Narare. That was in 2011. Mm -hmm. I did my studies at Oreo Girls High, and then I moved on to Victoria Falls. That's where I was currently wa working as a waitress. And yeah, I'm the first born of four children, two girls and two boys. There you have it, folks. Now I, I think now I have a very big background. She is coming from National and Central. This is where she is from, and went to Oriel Girls High. She has been working in Victoria Falls. That is another fifth talent where she has actually been working uh, as a waitress. So, yeah, Shagawanda, <laughs> multi-talented person. So now, Miss V, um, we have talked about the many things that you do. How did you become a talk show host? What inspired you to become a talk show host? Okay, I would say, um, firstly, I started off uh, with the organization, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we mainly dealt with uh, girls and women, mm -hmm. but then people were complaining and they're like, ah, V, you are dealing with ladies only. Why can't you just make it good to show it time? And so... And balancing the gender. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So yeah, we then started the I then started the talk show thing uh, with the aim of helping young people now, because I believe that uh, for us to have a better generation, we have to catch them young. So we started the um, yeah we started the talk show uh, with the aim of helping young people through interaction and motivating them. Oh, okay. So what is the name of the talk show that you are hosting? Because we are just talking about the talk show, talk show, and people would want to know which talk show Miss V hosts. Okay. Uh, the name of the talk show is uh, Miss V Reality Talk Show. It's called the Miss V Reality Talk Show. Yes, yes Miss V is a host of the Miss V Reality Talk Show. And uh, I think if you have been watching and you have been following, they discuss a lot of issues to do with the younger generation how people are growing up and how we balance the gender so that we don't leave any gender behind. So, Ms. V, when do you are looking at uh, issues to do with uh, the youth as you uh, interact with them through your, your, your talk shows? What is uh, the significant thing that you might say has been coming out every other time whenever you are talking to the youth uh, during your, your talk show uh, sessions? Okay. Um, you know, most of the youth, I'm sure they've been complaining about it, I say, uh, the issue of projects. 
Okay. But I'll say that, how can I put it? But issue Pachavo, they they need projects and yeah. if, if that's what you are yeah, you can put it that way. Okay. Uh, so and also we have noticed that some of the youths mm -hmm. are they are suffering from uh, relationship issues. Uh, if okay. People have been following us. If you have been following us, right? Mm -hmm. We started off with the relationship issues because mm -hmm. uh, looking at very vaguely related, Shirugunyanyo can be said like my relationship issues, be it uh, Eva couples, uh, my family issues. So I can basically say that these are the most issues that are the most challenges that are being faced by our fellow youth. So yeah, we're trying to build a generation in Gori, right, right. Ah, that's super. So there you have it, folks. Just talking about the issues that the youths are facing, and it's good that uh, we have Miss V uh, looking at uh, giving the psychosocial support to the youth. So Miss V, from giving psychosocial support, we 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 come back to where you are an event planner. One of your many talents is event planning. How did you get into event planning? Because counseling, psychosocial support is a bit distant from event planning. How do all these talents come and you know be around one person? How did you how did you come into event planning? Okay, I must say that I love being occupied. <laughs> but, <laughs> if I'm not occupied and you know so much like ah. Yeah. So event planning and um, I'm into cooking, right? Okay. So you know, when you are doing my menus and all, mm. you you find out that one of our good comedic vamangondi got zero chakat. So I later ventured into into event planning. Yes, I'm still in it. As far as yeah, yes oh, to, okay. to the So the event planning is is coming from where you are a food technology and design specialist. She's also a food technology and design specialist. Uh, in the area of cakes and confectionaries. Now take us through the issue of cakes and confectionaries. What exactly do you will you be doing there? Because people when people hear that you are a food and a food technology and design specialist in confectionaries and cakes, what is involved? Okay, uh, being a caterer, um love young and go under baking. Yes, yes. So what was the question? <laughs> okay, I'm saying, you just, just take us through what, what exactly will you be doing so that people will know that as a food technology and design specialist specializing in cakes and confectionaries, what exactly will you be doing? What are, what are the products that are oh, involved? Okay, yes. okay. Uh, so we have what we call V-Bakery, right? Oh. And my V-Bakery, we have my cakes, mm -hmm. well, we also do my confectionaries, confectionaries right? Mm -hmm. That is my muffins, we have my so I'm saying that we have what you call a uh, feed bakery. So by feed bakery, we do my cakes and uh, my cakes, right? So also do my muffins, my buns, everything that has to do with the bakery. So Miss V is an entrepreneur uh, in the area of for food technology and design and doing the mouth watering. You know, salivation started in because cakes. You know, but thanks to me, Miss V, you make us eat cakes every day. Now, Miss V. Um, we, we, we are still continuing and wanting to know more about Miss V. Um, you founded uh, Vala Women's Organization. What led you to found uh, this women's organization? Besides, because you, you are a talk show where you are dealing with psychosocial support for boys and girls and young adults. You are into your um, confectionaries the food technology and design, and then you went a step further and founded a women's organization. What is the motivation? What led you to, 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 to found a Vala Women's Organization? 
Okay, I would say valuing organization uh, is part of my life. Mm -hmm. As in, it's something and since I've encountered such scenarios or such situations, and mm -hmm. I wanted to help Bakaz uh, and young ladies out there, could you, if you want, if you find yourself in a situation whereby you are abused or I will not go I will find you isolated like you got away and over on up and get Yes, you have to stand up for yourself because at the end of the day, you are responsible for yourself. So, uh, growing up, I can simply say that I faced so many challenges and being Miss V, I had to own up for myself. I had to fight for myself. Um, I had to, you know, <laughs> I don't like disclosing this, but let me say for the benefit of everyone who is watching there, uh, I started working at a very young age. That was, I was around 16. 16. Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. That, that's quite early. Yeah. At that time, I loved the money. Ah. <laughs> I was still going to I was still at school. Mm -hmm. But then at the age of 17, mm -hmm. yeah, things mm -hmm. became tough. That's where I started life. Okay. That's when my life started. So I worked there as a maid, mm -hmm. right? You know, working as a maid is not that good, you know. Ushishanda judge ya. Unosanga anima situations are going on. Exactly. Maybe it's the wife, maybe it's the husband. Right. And you'll be in between those people. And you come back over, you have a situation. You have a situation. But you know, I didn't give up. I went as far as begging. Yeah. Until I made this. There was this church mm -hmm. uh, in Chisipita, I'm forgetting the name. Okay. You know, I went there and I was like, oh, please, can you just help me? I'm the festival mm -hmm. and I'm trying to help my family here. Right? Mm -hmm. So the men there, he called the pastor and then the pastor like, I'm not going to give you anything. Maybe I'll just pray for you so that life you are going to right. And right. then he gave me my small grass. I was like, if ever I make it in life, mm -hmm. I'll come back to attend. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that was what I faced. So and the now I gave up. I went on with my life, worked, and from there I learned to say, Kukumbira you have to work for yourself. And being a lady, also a, a girl in my family, you know, we cannot educate my name, because we never know but I know You know, those words, they are deep, especially when So there was a time when I gave up on my life. A time when I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This 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 is very deep and uh, it's it's very touching and very emotional and I think it's 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 not a situation that is only peculiar to you, but it's a situation that uh, a lot of women and young girls have faced. Yeah. And uh, majority of uh, the times we try and find solutions from a standpoint rather than from a person who has gone through uh, those kind of uh, experiences. And I'm happy that uh, you, you have detailed how what you went through and it led you to found a Vala Women's Organization. So this organization, uh, what exactly do you do with, with the organization or in the organization? How does it then come in to, to help other women? What, what kind of assistance do other women get from uh, Vala Women's Organization? Okay, uh, we help them through my support okay. and the support that we are offering at the moment is uh, strategy counseling. Okay. Like, we started this organization that was maybe two years back. Two years back. Yeah, and now it's on hold because of financial issues and this COVID thing. But uh, when we started, we managed to help this girl. She, she was in Victoria Falls, mm -hmm. uh, raped, uh, you know, and, those and family issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we managed to cancel the girl and like enough uh, and then now she has a baby and I hate with other in our world. And also, we had Managed to help Mama Mukaiza open up a store visa, and you know when we started this thing, Timbo Jimbo is a Mama Wasa group, and then we later found out with Jane, Changa Jang Peter, so Vakas, Vagato, and Mama Rukuro, and Rukitra say so. 
the main 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 purpose of this organization is to help ladies out there to stand up for yourselves and abuse is real. abuse father two kids no man have abuse I think I just want to abuse. Yeah. Oh, that that is great. Uh, I think you are following up uh, on on the discussion we are having here with Miss V. Miss V is a talk show host and event planner. She's a food and technology design specialist in confectionaries and cakes. She is also the founder of uh, Women of Vala. Uh, it's called Women Vala Organi Vala Women's Organization. Yeah, I, I think I got that correct. Yes, yes. Vala Women's Organization. You see. When you try and link it with the biblical terms, we in the Bible we have the men of valor. So that's where I was now trying to take it. But I think uh, this is quite a, a, a good uh, initiative. So, Miss V, in the area of uh, offering psychosocial support, uh, it now brings me to the current issues that are very topical in the country. We, we, we are having a lot of issues and a lot of education on gender-based violence and we are in the month of October also where we are talking about uh, the breast cancer awareness and you coming from an organization such as uh, Vala Women's Organization uh, what, what can you say about uh, gender-based violence and also the issues to do with breast cancer what, what can you say to the other women Okay, I'll start with the issue of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. I say, uh, for gender-based violence, uh, I think everyone has to be educated about it. Because mostly we find that we are educating women only. And yes, we are going to be able to do it. But let me say that I think we have to educate both women and men. And what, yes, yes. Exactly. Uh, so that maybe we can reduce my issues of divorce and chichi. Mm -hmm. And also to men, uh, men have this ego. I think I'm here by the man to tell us to come back and look at you. I don't know. 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 I do you have to mean up and seek help. And then going to the issue of breast cancer. Breast cancer, yes, breast cancer. Mm. Breast cancer is uh, your health, your kakosha. Exactly. And my awareness are good and I'm sure I'll put some sugar in there. And they could spatter and get checked. Ah, thank you so much. We have Miss V uh, here on, on, on Rising Stars and she's doing wonders in the areas where she's a talk show host. She's also into food technology and design as a specialist in confectionaries and cakes. She's an event planner and also the founder of Vala Women's Organization. Now, Miss V, eh, everybody gets inspired to do certain things, uh, either through life experiences or by observing others, even when you have your own life experiences but you will also tend to observe and copy from others. Who then can you say are your role models? Okay, uh, the first role model is myself. Ah, <laughs> that's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, and uh, my second role model uh, is Oprah Winfrey. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then Maiji Samba, our local TV presenter. Maiji Samba, yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> ah, that's yeah. a good one, yes, yes. Yes, sir. so those are my role models. And, yeah. Okay, <laughs> ah, that's good. And one thing that I've just picked is your, your role models are, are, are on the, they call it the fairer sex, but I would want to call it the fairer gender, which also then translates into the activities that you are doing, which is a, a, a very good thing. You, you, you spoke about the life challenges that you went through as an individual. But in your career, are there any challenges that you have faced, maybe as a talk show host, uh, in your uh, food technology and design business? Are there any challenges maybe that you have faced that you would want to then uh, talk about and inspire uh, the other rising stars out there so that they can be able to overcome them? Yeah, sure. Everything has challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, let me start with the catering business. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the most, the main challenge of catering is to get my lack of resources, mm -hmm. and but that doesn't, that mustn't stop one from doing what she or he wants to pursue. And you find it maybe that it is our spoon. I think I've tried to say a bit Yes, yes. And when we're not over, it's the only snap photo I can tell about. I think I've got to be big as it. So some of the challenges, man, even. My finances, I but I can say good. I will And then moving on to um, the talk show, mm -hmm. you know, the most challenge I, I'm facing or I faced by a bad talk show is you know, when you're starting something and then people will be like, you know, I'd like to say to parents out there, I don't know, or to people who support, I don't know ever tell them to media and you know. You know, if you start doing something, people start to judge you times around your media and all that was the challenge that I faced when I started. You know, my community members are like, ah, talk show, I should not marry one. Two one one eight I saw so at Yeah, so some of the challenges <laughs> being faced I think uh people always try to attach a personality that they have seen somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of the influence of uh, social media and what we see from other countries. Mm -hmm. But uh, being a talk show host, being in the arts industry, being an artist and being anything that you can be is something that people have to be able to support. We would want to be supporting the talent that our children have, the talent that our brothers and sisters have, without even judging them. And that is exactly why we turn, why we take uh, the untapped talent from out there and bring it here on set on Rising Stars, so that they tell the story, they inspire somebody out there, and we continue to build a strong base for people's talents and have them appreciated because that is exactly why we would want to explore and project the talents that are out there. Miss V, uh, we have been talking and talking and talking, but uh, maybe before we go, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, I would reply you in one simple sentence. Yes, yes. <laughs> I see myself as the most powerful leader in the country, in the world if I might say. <laughs> You have heard it for yourself. I didn't say it, but she has said it. She is going to be the most powerful lady uh, in the areas of her talent in the next five years. And here at Rising Stars, we will continue to be following up and making sure that we do what we do best, is to make sure we expose, explore, and ensure that everybody gets to know where Miss V is, what Miss V is doing, and then we also get to inspire all the other talk show hosts that are out there. So you have the talent and you are sitting at home. Please don't sit at home. Go out there, show your talent and make sure that you can do what you can do without anybody judging you, without anybody pulling you down. And to all the parents and all the community members out there, when one of us is doing whatever they are doing, let's continue to support them. Let's continue to make sure that we project them because when they are at the top, it is our community that is seen, it is our family that is seen, and they also earn a living. And here we are with Miss V, a talk show host, event planner, food and technology design specialist in confectionaries and cakes. She is also the founder of uh, a women, uh, Vala Women Organization. Pardon me on this one, I continue to start with women. A projection of women, you know, like you have said, we continue to want to project women and girls so that they are given the platforms in society. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have spoken so much, Miss V. Uh, any other parting words that you would want to throw out there to our viewers and uh, uh, all the people in, in Zimbabwe and beyond? Okay, um, I only have a few words um, to everyone who's watching. I would say, be you. Mm -hmm. the world to adjust and never stop loving yourself and never stop pursuing your dream. I'd like to thank the people who have been in my life and who are still in my life. Uh, the likes of Miss Amjuru, you know, they have been supporting me and I appreciate. I'd like to support, uh, to thank, um, okay, Butterfly, thank you so much for supporting me. Uh, if not of you, I won't be here and 
Yeah, there you have it, folks. Big up, Mr. Mjuru, out there. You have been, you know, the pillar of strength and support and butterfly. Continue <laughs> to do what you have to do so that we continue to project the rising stars. I am your host, Father Two Keys. I'm out of here, and we continue with the next episode when we meet again. We are out. Thank you.